up. Hope you guys are all having a great week. I just wanted to show you my hair. So first of all, this is the satin bonnet that I sleep in at night, every night. Uh, when it's dirty, I switch with another satin bonnet, but I usually have this one on. I really like the color and the design. So anyways, I put some conditioner in my hair last night to deep condition, as well as some um, hot oil from my um, Hot 6 African Royale oil bottle. So I just heated up some water in a cup and stuck the bottle inside and then put some in my hair. So I wanted to do a deep conditioning treatment. Okay, so I used my Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose Conditioner as well as some um, of my Herbal Essences Hello Hydration to deep condition. And then I just put on this plastic cap and my satin bonnet. I went to bed. So, hmm, mm -hmm. feels really soft and still very moist. Okay, so I'm actually going to rinse this all out and when I'm done, I'll come back and show you guys the result. See ya. Hey guys, so I finished washing my hair. I washed out all of the conditioner that I put in to deep condition it. Then I just shampooed my scalp by putting a little bit of shampoo in my hand. And I used my Trader Joe's Nourish Spa shampoo. And then I just kind of plopped it in the middle and then used the water to run it over my scalp. And then I massaged the shampoo in and rinsed it out. And then I um, co-washed with my um, Hello Hydration um, and finger detangled because I forgot to <laughs> bring my comb into the shower. So right now, um, well you can see my hair, um, this is how it looks freshly washed and it has definitely grown a lot. I remember how it used to look after I washed it so I'm pretty happy. Anyways, um, let's see, I am going to, oh before I say what I'm going to do, when I was detangling, I noticed that um, I took out a lot of hair, and I think um, a lot of hair came out, and I think the reason why that happened is just that my hair was super dry when I took out my twists. I think I needed to moisturize a lot more than I was, because um, I thought that the twists would help to hold in the moisture, but I guess the air hair is um, a little bit drier than the air in the US, so maybe that took some um, more moisture out of my hair than I was re than I realized. Um, so ne next time I put in mini twists and leave them in for a long time, definitely going to moisturize uh, every day. In the US, usually I moisturize every two, three days and I'm fine, but I definitely need to moisturize every day hair um, if that is what I noticed what was happening with my hair. Uh, so, yeah. So I yeah, had a lot of, had some breakage. Not a lot of breakage, but I had some breakage. Um, so I'm going to moisturize with my Garnier for Peace Triple, Triple Nutrition. I'm just going to put some of that on my hair. Then I'm going to oil my scalp with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and also my, um, my Super Grow. I used this when I had my hair in braids last year and it really helped my hair to grow a lot. Then I'm going to seal everything in with my shea butter or African butter. I don't know what this is, but it works and I like it, so I'm happy. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's get started. Let's do it in sections. Okay. <coughs> so I like to start from the front and work my way to the So let's just clip off the sections first. I can't wait until I can like <laughs> put my hair in a bun without it needing to be straight. Like if I had a relaxer right now I would be able to bun my hair but it's okay. Maybe by next year? I think by next year I should be able to bun my hair. Like unstretched. 
unstretched hair. That's my my goal to bun my unstretched hair. I should have brought my towel over. <laughs> it's really wet. Oh well. So after I finish my hair, I'm actually going to run to the supermarket and get some stuff because all I have right now is rice, noodles, and orange Fanta. And I don't think that's going to be a good dinner. Although I managed to just eat rice for breakfast. Um, I'm actually pretty okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay. So, I'm kind of putting a lot in each section. Ah, oh, it smells really nice. I just kind of work it in. Put some on the ends. Yeah, I really need my towel. <laughs> and now I'm going to put on some of my shea butter, African butter, yellow stuff. Very pretty. Usually when I emulsify, it just quickly turns into an oil, but I guess since my hand is so wet, it kind of turned into this cream lotion, kind of, yeah. So let's take this out, okay. And I put some everywhere. I'm going to take a little bit more. Okay, this much. And put it on the end. Okay, now I'm going to go with my castor oil, and I'm going to, I usually take it out this way, just on my finger, because um, I don't want to use a lot, and I'm going to put it on the sides, because I have a lot of breakage on my sides. And then a little bit in the front. Hmm. Good. Now I'm going to grab my super dry. And it's green. It smells heavenly. Um, there's a lot of coconut oil in it, so I really love it. Um, and my information so now I'm spraying oil. Then we do this very often. Probably the first time I use my oil and I'm going to myself. Or, watching you and my girlfriend, he's going to boss. I'm not really excited about what happened because I have no idea how they're going to move this. I want to say he's watching this video. I want to see how much I'm going to watch. So I've had like the boy voice. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to put this in a big twist for now. And so you guys see how I moisturize and seal my hair. I'm going to just do this for the other three sections and then I will come back later with my style. Okay. See ya. Bye. i